Well, hello there. My name is Beth Gap, and I am the Systems Manager, Technology Trainer, and Robotics Instructor here at the Peabody Public Library. Welcome back to another session of Virtual Field Trips, Travels, and Destinations. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Google Arts and Culture. Uh, this is a 360 cities type tour. However, we aren't going to go too deep into this because after I found doing this um, field trip today, that I do want to use a lot of this for future field trips. So I am just going to take you around this website a little bit uh, and have you kind of see what is available to you. Uh, this is all free through the Google Arts and Culture section of Google. So let me take you through. Um, just a second here, we're going to click on this. So you can visit the Google Culture and Art section with sections without barriers. So whether you're visiting a museum, historic site, location, um, expeditions, what have you, uh, these are available to anyone, anytime, through a web browser or a mobile device. Uh, so your planning is key on these. So if you are a teacher or a parent that is teaching your student, they recommend that you start reading through the tour to get an idea of what it's all about. Uh, check to see if it covers subjects that you want to get into. And do you want to run through the whole thing or just pick out highlights? Near and far, you can take this class to a wide variety of places from a visit to the local museum to a quick trip to Mars. You can um, project the tour on a screen or share it on the Google Classroom. The tours are a mixture of 360 and 2D. There are no pop-ups within the panoramas. Past, present, and future. These are tours that take uh, place in the past that explain how systems work today and what we should be thinking about to preserve our future. Uh, they have specific tours you can take or you can browse through the subjects which cover arts, natural history, science and technology, geography, and history. But wait, there's more. Once you've been through a tour with your class, there are more virtual field trips you can try to go to. Learn with arts and culture. There's subject-related material and lesson plans that you can use in the classroom or give students as worksheets to work through at their own pace. Are you ready to begin? So we are going to click here to set off. And this takes us into their virtual field trip um, actual site. So it says, where do you want to go today? So we can pick it by subject. Uh, you can explore all the tours, make waves, go globetrotter. This is actually specific areas search for answers, uh, trying to answer life's questions through trial, error, innovation, and discovery. Uh, get back to nature. So there's a lot of different natured ones in here you could try to experiment with. Seven Wonders of the World, Marvel Masterpieces, Admire the Architecture, Join Celebrations, Step into the Spotlight, and this is just the beginning. So up here we have Explore. So under Explore, here's that 360 video experience, which I'm gonna show a little bit of today. Virtual Museum Day. Popular Topics. Street Views. Historical figures. This goes into different categories. Colors. It's over here. So then you can go into other sections as well. Play. What's that? So these are games that are popular on here. Very cool. These are some featured games, art galleries, and so forth. Nearby wants to use my location. 
takes me into a bunch of different museums that are close to me or within proximity. Favorites. I don't have any favorites yet. Let's go back to the home. All right. So today's top picks. Meet a sea dragon. So let's go back to explore 360 videos from all angles. The Fall of the Rebel Angels, painted in 1562 by Peter Bruegel the Elder, is so this Royal video Museum is three minutes and Belgium. it tells you about that. See, this one has the actual 360 view, I think. Let's see if we can this quality a little better. That's pretty cool. Shows you a 360 city. It's pretty neat. Okay. I was trying to escape, but it isn't allowing me to. Okay, so we're going to close that. Uh, Queen Victoria. Well, my name is Michael Hunter, and I'm the curator here at Osborne. Audio is kind of low. Queen Victoria and Prince Albert were very... But they also have other ones. Um, how do you get the toilet in a space mood item? This is a lot of different 360 tours. A new dinosaur is coming to the hall of the American Museum of Natural History. This Titanosaur is a really huge animal. It's over 120 feet long. But it lived in what's now present. Dinosaurs. So you kind of get the idea. There are a lot of stuff that you can do inside of Google Arts and Culture with all the 360 views that they have. Um, it looks like they have experiments you can go into, see what kind of experiments you can do. This would be part of those lesson plans. Let's see, artists, art movements, places. They've got a settings, so you can set it how you'd like. So I am going to go ahead and end our field trip today. This was just a very quick segment about oops, Google Arts and Culture, and I thought that you might like to kind of just take a look with me on the different kinds of things that they offer to you. Um, and we're going to start breaking down some of this Google Arts and Culture, and I'm going to start um, doing some of the items that are on here for virtual field trips in the future. I do have our year planned out now, but in 2025, we're going to start exploring a little bit more into the Google Arts and Culture. So I really hope this was a beneficial, beneficial video for you and uh, that you get a lot out of this, because quite honestly, without you, there'd be no reason for me to have these classes. So I just appreciate you um, and I'm going to definitely include this link for you so you're able to go in and take a better look. So thank you so much for being a part of this very quick uh, Google Arts and Culture virtual field trip today.